Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday, the 13th of November, where I choose just one of our signals that our members get uh, in our stock signals membership for potential long and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, the daily, and the six minute time frame. Uh, big shorts in the session yesterday, looking to capitalize on that today if that downward momentum continues. But in our membership area, a potential long fifth wave trades they click on the image download the spreadsheet for longs for today for the 13th of November and then in the shorts the same thing click on the image download the spreadsheet which looks something like this for today so I've chosen six minute time frame there's daily all these potentials on the daily and on then on the weekly but I want to concentrate on the six minute time frame on a shorter term swing here uh, and I've chosen just one of these DPLO uh, on the six minute time frame for a potential short fifth wave trade. So let's have a look at it on the chart and set it up. So first of all, this is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim platform. It's also available for Ninja Trader, Multi Charts, and Trade Station. We have had uh, on DPLO on intraday, we've had this ABC correction, uh, and then we had the big gap down on earnings, and then we've pulled back against there on a wave four. And this is this wave four that we're interested in right now. Uh, so let's have a closer look at that. So as you can see, uh, one of the filters for the stock signals membership is this wave four pullback against the main trend. Now this wave four has found resistance in our amber zone. So that gives us an 80% probability going to go on and make a new wave low into our automated target zone down here in blue, around about $12, something like that. Also, uh, I'm using, uh, I'm combining some of our indicator suites. Part of our indicators, uh, we have a day trading indicator suite, but it has a great EMA cloud there. And this resistance, um, EMA Cloud has found resistance in there and our FIB zones. So really, really good resistance for this wave four, and we're looking for it to come back down now. The next filter is that wave four behavior. And we use the 535 oscillator, the top of the two subcharts here. And this is pulled back between 90 and 140% of that wave four. So looking good there. The next is the stochastic. We haven't got false breakouts on here because we had the big gap down, but we've come from oversold to overbought. We've crossed over and we're looking for it to return back to the oversold. Now, something that's not on our signals um, membership, but part of our, our day trading add-on suite is the multiple time frame dot cloud. As you can see here, our overall trend on the daily, sorry, on the weekly time frame is red, which is bearish. Um, you see we've got the square at the top here. This was all bare here. And then as we have we pulled back on the wave four, we've gone to cyan on the uh, the two hour and the four hour here. So what we're looking for now is that wave four to end and for the fifth wave to start. As we'll see, then our dots go all red. We'll get the red square. And that should be around about my potential entry here, around about 15.29. So the entries below the 6.4 moving average low part of our early wave engage suite, very much below there. Also below the low of all of these candles here on this 60 minute time frame, uh, big, big sort of resistance level and just below the high uh, on this pivot candle here. So 15.29 is the entry short for DPLO, target $12 and the stop loss just, just above the wave for about 17.08. Uh, so great risk reward uh, into that target zone. Very, very simple setup from our stock scanner membership using our Elliott Wave indicator suite uh, for the ThinkerSwimmer platform. So that's it for today. Have a great training day. Speak to you all tomorrow.